Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to talk about how to build a small hydroponics tomato grower. Now, growing tomatoes is so rewarding, and there's so many different types that you can grow. And they don't necessarily have to be grown in soil. You can grow tomatoes right into a sponge or any type of material grown right in water hydroponically, and it's really not that complicated. First of all, you need some seeds. And I found that the smaller varieties of tomatoes, like this little sweetie tomato, is one of the better choices because they stay a little more compact and smaller and they don't get so top heavy as a beefsteak tomato that would probably do better in the ground. But they can be grown hydroponically as well. But the little sweetie tomatoes are just perfect because they're very easy to grow. And so you just take the seeds, and the easiest way to start them is actually right into a paper towel or a napkin. You just put some seeds and keep the towel moist and keep checking on it, and you'll find in a couple days in the house they'll start sprouting or even outdoors. And once they've sprouted, you can even put them right into a seed tray, and you can use soil and seed starter mix and start them right in soil, or you can start them right into a sponge. You just take a little piece of sponge, put the start of the seed once it's growing right in between the sponge and then the easy way to hold the sponge is right into the seed tray and then you'll find it'll grow right out of that. Eventually the roots will get crowded and you want, might want to put them in a larger container but to start them it's a great way to do it. So once the tomatoes are growing in your seed starter and right into the sponge you can turn around and just take any bucket and um, I always like to use another bucket as well inside that bucket. You want to keep the tomato plant right in the water so that the water level is right on the top of the sponge, right at the bottom of the seed, not covering any of the leaves or the stem. And put it in a hot, hot, sunny spot. And change out the water regularly. Constantly get the water flowing. And you can always add any type of fertilizer that's high in nitrogen when it first starts to grow. But once you've got nice growth on your hydroponic grower, you want to cut off on the nitrogen-based fertilizers because they're only going to create more greenery. So you either stop fertilizing altogether or get a blooming type phosphate type fertilizer. And because it's grown in water, they're not getting the nutrition from the soil. So you've got to add a little bit of nutrition for them. But it's really as easy as that. Once you get the tomatoes growing, just trim them out as needed. And trim them back so they don't get too lanky and you will find that you have a very easy hydroponic grower.